Hello YouTube and welcome to Fix It Sama channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a homemade vacuum. So let's get started. Okay guys, here's what we need. Four to five inch flexible coupling. Two inch male female connection, plumbing connection. 110 volt old wire plug. Strainer. The motor. It's 110 volt also. On off switch. Make sure that it supports 110 volts. Male female disconnects like this one. Some light duty casters. Mixing cup. And I've got here a reusable filter that comes with a big o-ring like this one and an old tube, vacuum tube like this and finally the 20 liter pair like this with its cover. Okay guys, as you see for the flexible coupling I removed both clamps over here and I've used the cutter to remove the edge, like the one that it's in here, I removed it. So my mixing cup will fit over it like this. And now we're gonna install the motor like this. As you see, it fits perfectly in here. And now it's time to install the male female disconnects. Make sure that they are very well connected. There you go. And as you see over here, I've connected also the disconnects on my wire over here, but I put one female and two males like this. I put the female on my black wire. That's because it's gonna be installed on my on off switch. And also that one is a female, so that's gonna go also here. Okay guys, so now it's time to make holes for my on-off switch and as you see over here, I got this lock for my wire and once I install this, it will prevent the wire from getting pulled and damaging wherever it's installed inside the mixing cup. Okay guys, as you see, I made a hole in here so I wanted to make sure that my on-off switch fits exactly in it and this way, simply I'm just going to place it here and use my pen to mark exactly where I want to cut. And now it's time to make the hole for my wire. gonna make sure that it fits okay that's good enough so now that I made the holes for the wire and the on off switch we're gonna make random holes so the air that the motor sucks in from the bottom it has to go out from the top over here so we're gonna make just random holes Now it's time to install the plug and the on off switch and I say this again guys if you are not a professional electrician do not do this we're talking about 110 volts and it's very dangerous.
we're gonna pass the wires so we're gonna install the ground we're gonna connect the ground neutral and the hot wire the hot wire is gonna be connected to the on-off switch. So that's the first one, and that's the second one. There you go. And now it's time for us to secure our wire to install this so we don't want it to get pulled while we are working with the vacuum so as you see now my mixing cup will fit exactly like this and now we're going to install this one like this There you go. So now if you pull over here, as you see, nothing will move inside. And this is very important because we don't want our wires to move inside. So this is how it's going to look like. It's time to test our wiring and make sure that everything is working properly. As you see, it's working perfectly. It's sucking the air from this side and it's blowing it from this side. That's exactly what we need. And there's another option, guys. If you do not want to make holes like this, you can simply make a hole, a big one over here and install this. So like this, you can also use it as a blower. It's just optional. So now that we've made sure that everything's working perfectly, the connections and the on-off switch, it's time to secure the mixing cup with a clamp. There you go. Now make sure that it will never come up. I'm going to be using this flexible coupling to measure and trace my line over the cover. And now it's time to make sure that it fits. There you go, that's how it's supposed to look like. So basically all what we need to do to clean the pail, just remove the lid and you have access to whatever is inside the pail. Okay guys, so I will be using the o-ring that came with the filter kit over here. I'm gonna place it over here so this way I'm gonna secure the lid with the motor so as you see here I made a cut all what's left to do is to measure how much I'm supposed to cut and secure it with the clamp over here we make sure that we push to the bottom and then we tighten There you go. Now our lid is secured with the motor and all what's left to do is to install the filter over it. As you see now I got this strainer that I talked to you about. I removed the handle and I put some electrical tape over here. So I'm going to be placing it over here. And then I'm going to put the filter. And we're gonna, we're gonna use our clamp. Okay, and now I'm gonna cut a bit of the filter. So as you see guys, it 
it's almost complete. All what's left to do now is to make a hole for our vacuum hose in here and to install the casters. Okay guys, so now it's time to make the hole for our connection over here. This is where the vacuum tube is gonna go through. So we're gonna make a hole here. There you go. And now that after we've made the hole, we're gonna install the two inch connection. And then we're gonna secure it with this one. There you go, so now it's installed. It's better if you can put some silicone so we don't have any air leak. And as you see over here, that's my tube, an old vacuum tube. So what I've done over here, I put some electrical tape around it to make it a bit thicker. So this way it will fit exactly in here, as you see. Okay guys, so now it's time to install the casters. These are pretty simple to install. Just make a hole and push it through and then it will work perfectly. Okay guys, as you see, after installing the casters, the project is done, actually. And now all what's left to do is to install the motor. We're gonna put our tube in its place. We're gonna plug the electricity. And now guys, I'm gonna show you how powerful is this vacuum. So basically what I have over here is cat litter, plus what I'm going to add is some metal screws like this inside. I'm going to mix it and let's check this out. Wow guys, it is unbelievably strong. And let's check the inside right now. Wow, as you see, everything went through there and it's working perfectly. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe under Fix It Samuel One Word and we will see you next time.